why do I want braces? That's the million dollar question. You gotta watch to find out. <laughs> hey world, what's up? It's me, um, your girl. Um, basically this video is gonna be about me documenting my experience. Um, I'm gonna be getting braces. So basically I'm gonna be um, uploading videos um, to show progress of how my teeth is gonna be looking like to see if there's any improvements or just to show myself that, that something is actually working so I'm gonna be making videos um, on my braces experience I've always wanted to get braces like since I was like 16 but I didn't want to have metals in my mouth because nobody wants to have metals in their mouth because they're not cute and um, to me I think teeth is really really important like the first thing I notice on a person is their teeth and you know if I'm gonna be looking at other people based on their teeth I need to check mine, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I've, I've, I've avoided um, getting braces for a very long time and it's gotten to the point where I need to fix it because it's just something that I gotta fix that's been bothering me. Just like how people get breast implants, um, people get braces to fix their teeth. Because I have a lot of spaces in my teeth. Um, that's been a number one concern of mine. I mean, every time I go to the dentist, they're always like, oh, you have such nice teeth. I don't believe that because it's got a lot of spaces. I know you're probably like, yeah, your teeth looks good, blah, 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 but I don't think so. So that's why, why not get it fixed to make me feel better about myself, you know? I know you're wondering what does my teeth look like and here's what it looks like. Let me get up close. See, I don't know if you can see, but I have a lot of spaces in my teeth. I mean, I'm, I'm talking right now and I'm sure you can see, see the spaces. Um, here, let me smile. You see that? See all that spaces in between? Right there, right there, all over. Look at that. All over, you know, it's kind of crooked and everything like that. I mean, I don't have any bite problems like an overbite. You know, some people have teeth looking like this. You know, some people have teeth looking like this. Okay. Some people have problems where their teeth don't meet. It's like that. But me, I don't have any of that. Just spaces all over my teeth. And so, um, you know, I have insurance. Insurance, you know, will pay some parts of it. Finally, I made the decision. Like in November, I went to, you know, regular dental cleaning. And I'm like, you know what? I really want to get braces. I know I've asked them to give me, like, numbers a bunch of times, but I never really call the orthodontist that they gave me. So this time around, I'm like, really? I really need braces. I want to fix my teeth. And they gave me the number to this orthodontist. So I gave him a call. I'm like, you know, I'm really interested in getting braces. I'm really serious about it. So they were really nice on the phone. They made me an appointment, like, um, right away. And my appointment was, like, on December, December 6th. Um, today is December 8th. So I went for my appointment. When I got to my appointment, they're like, you know, what's your major number one concern that you're concerned about right now? And I'm like, you know, um, I want to get rid of my spaces because I'm tired of looking like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and she just started laughing. I was like, yeah, I don't want to look like Mickey Mouse anymore. Let me watch a bunch of videos. Um, that's one of the assistant to the doctor. So I watched the video. It was like a five minute video. And the video basically talked about the different teeth problems, different options, treatment options like braces, Invisalign that are available um, to fix, you know, whatever teeth problem you have. And it showed like picture before and after pictures and how if you don't like some people have really bad teeth to the point where it messes up their facial alignment. And, you know, some of our faces are like crooked, jaw whatever, a bunch of other problems and it shows like before and after pictures of what the braces can do. So the video was done, you know, the um, orthodontist, the main guy comes in and he does like an oral exam, you know, uh, makes me go like this, uh, you know, looks at my teeth from the side, from the front, um, gets this little instrument, looks at it, you know, does a, he does like a full blown oral assessment on my teeth in my face, in my facial structure. And then he finally said, you know, I definitely need braces and my um, spaces are severe because it's just all over my mouth. And I was like, yeah, I know that. And um, so 
After that, he was like, he's going to probably recommend, probably going to recommend um, braces, metal braces. And he was saying that, you know, um, because I'm an adult, you know, if I don't want metals um, on the upper and the lower, that I can have ceramic on top and the metal on the bottom. So I was like, yeah, I just want the most. I don't care if I walk around with metals all day. I don't care. At the end, I want perfect teeth. And I want something that's going to be really, really effective at curing whatever my teeth has. So he's like, yeah, he's definitely going to recommend metal braces. So um, he's <clears throat> recommending that I put the ceramic ones, which is kind of clear, kind of hard to see on, on the top um, part of my teeth. And then the bottom is going to have the metals, and um, that's going to fix the problem. And he told me that I'm going to have to wear for two years. Um, and after that, I'm going to have to wear retainers. I'm like, damn, two years? Wow, that's a long time. But I'm sure it's going to go by fast. Um, but I don't care at this point because I've waited so long, you know, depriving myself of freaking um, perfect teeth. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. And then he says he wouldn't recommend um, Invisalign for me because it's more expensive and um, it's going to take um, a longer period of time for me to close my spaces with Invisalign. So I don't want Invisalign. And Invisalign is a lot of work anyways. I heard that. To me, what I've heard about Invisalign is that you got to have it in your mouth. I mean, you take it out to brush your teeth. And then every time you eat, you brush your teeth and you can't have, you can't eat certain things or something like that. It just sounds like a lot of work. And I know myself, Invisalign, you have to be de dedicated. And sometimes I'm not dedicated and I don't want that to like affect my um, treatment and how my teeth ends up at the end. Because like Invisalign, if you take it out, sometimes I just get home from work and take it out, brush my teeth and go to sleep. And I might forget to put it back in my teeth. I know myself. So I don't want to go that route. Let's just put something in my mouth that's going to stay there 24-7. I don't have to mess with it. Just brush my teeth, eat some food, brush my teeth, and go. I don't want to have to deal with taking it out, putting it in, taking it. That's just a lot of work. I know myself, I'm not that or organized like that. So let's just not even go there. Thanks for watching this video on why I want braces. And I guess I'll see you on the next video. Bye.